Say hello, lasses! <laughs> and today we have special guests, Bethan and Chloe. How are you guys doing? Hello, everyone. Hello. Are you all right? Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit hungover today. Oh, hungover. You think that I'll be used to being hungover because of Jolly Shaw? I literally drink for a living, but I'm literally getting older now, so it gets worse. So now we're going to hair and makeup. Because obviously I want to look glam, I don't want to look like this, I don't want to scare the audience when they see this face. Can't do it. Your hair looks so amazing. Why do you think I've lost weight? Oh my yeah. god, I put my on. I had a full bottle of wine last night. I'm sick. You look so good. Look at my chance to make them put Your them hair on. looks amazing. Give us a spin. Oh my god, I want to eat. <laughs> I literally want to eat it right to the candy floss. Do you? I yeah, from, I've gone dog with the hair. So much better. Do you like it better? So much better. <gasps> I'm excited. I'm excited. Might just go for the uh, round. Like Which smoked out Kylie Jenner brown. Okay. Guys, I'm back in glam again. Um, I'm going to go for like a smoky eye. Wayne's on his way. I can't wait to see him. I'm very, very excited for this. I've just got a lot to say. So yeah, these are my makeup girl and my hair girls. Say hello, hey. lasses. <laughs> <laughs> so you're single then? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But how are you single with a bum like that? What bum? <laughs> Your big booty. Flush. <laughs> what are you single here? Oh what? No. <gasps> what? I'm taking. Oh my god, who with? Guys, some rich man. Oh, oh so do I. We are need a rich Darling, man. I am a rich man. <laughs> <laughs> so with a who is it? What's his name? Paul. Paul? So listen, I've just decided that I want to be on my own now. Like, I don't want a relationship for Lisa yet. I've got too much living to do, too much money to be made, too many businesses. Like, men hold you back. Me and you used to text, I used to flirt with Wayne. The nice, used to fancy you, didn't I? I used to flirt back. Well, Dave used to flirt. Remember when I sent you that mm. picture? I went, what should I wear for Ocean? You sent me so many bikini shots. Buddy. I know, I did. I, did. I was yeah. literally showing off, wasn't I? I've saved them in my favourites. No, you haven't. Yeah, you were only flirting again in the Ocean. Yeah, what are you flirting? <laughs> I wanted a free bottle of vodka. <laughs> I used you. It's all nice for you, babe. You know that. Yeah. You look nice, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you look yeah, handsome. Yeah. Like the brown hair? I love the brown hair. So okay. much better. I look like your ex, all that. Yeah. Look <laughs> like your ex girlfriend. Yeah. I'm going to get my hair curled. You look hot as well, Don. Oh, oh, I love, love you so much. I've got a lot of catch up on you know. Honestly, it was so good to see Wayne. I haven't seen Wayne since Celebs Go Dating and I cannot wait for the podcast because I just feel like there is so much to talk about, especially how mad it went on social media. I don't know if you've seen, but obviously me and Wayne like played a little joke saying that we were engaged and it literally went mad and the abuse that that man got was absolutely disgusting, like absolutely vile. So I just can't wait to have a chat with them and hopefully we can stop these awful trolls because it should not be allowed on social media, man. Like, it's crazy. It pisses me off. Basically, I look a 10 out of 10. I look absolutely gorgeous. I want to FaceTime all my things, but none of them are answering and I want them to see how lush I look. Fuming. Absolutely fuming. Right, so my makeup and hair is almost done. Well, obviously, I'm not having hair like this. I look like a Catherine of Aragon. So I am doing a podcast now with Wayne, which I'm really excited about because there's just a lot to talk about. Um, and let's try and stop these internet trolls. What's it called? No excuse mm -hmm. for abuse. You got it, babe. In I got one. it, yeah. No excuse for abuse because there is no excuse for abuse. What, so our goal today is to stop all this online trolling. Like, something needs to be done because it's just absolutely disgusting, isn't it? It's just like the abuse that you had was literally vile. Like, vile. We got upset on the phone, didn't we? Like, was it... Oh, you were crying, mate. Oh, no, you were crying a little bit, though. Only because you were crying. Uh, no, I mean, you know, uh, I, I, I take it. I mean, Chloe's took it for years, but it's when it's about your friends it becomes more, uh, more upsetting, yeah. <sighs> it's going to get an emotional, isn't it? Yeah. Get some more wine. Oh, f <laughs> I'm going to be pissed. It's not Jordy Shaw. <laughs> this is a movement Wayne and I've created to hopefully tackle all on abuse. And today we have special guests, Bethan and Chloe. How are you guys doing? Hello, everyone. Are you all right? I'm great. Thank you. How's it been like for you? Well, when I first got on Jordy Shaw, obviously you seen the abuse that I got, I got to put. With me, I'm very strong minded. Like, that doesn't ever bother me. Like, it, it, well, at first, it didn't. Um, I got so much abuse when yeah. I got on it. I, I ugly, fat mess. Like it's just, it's mad. But like I was like, I don't care. I was only young. But honestly, for a person to get that much abuse at such a young age, you're yeah. not mentally prepared for that. 
you're not prepared for abuse, are you? At one point, though, you were. At one point, it was, it was starting to affect you, though, because then you started changing, changing yourself. yourself. Yeah. So, like, at first, you weren't that bothered, and it was like, uh, like, kind of brushing it on the rug. When you've got millions and millions of people saying the same thing, you then start to believe it because you're like, oh, well, that's that's another person that said that. So yeah. almost, it might start being true. Yeah. When when Chloe came into the show, no one no one had ever seen anything like her. No. You know? Nah. So. You know, she's her own person. She's she's free spirited. She's amazing. She does what you know. She doesn't care about anything. Anyone. Yeah. You know, and and that's the love I have for Chloe. But because it was so fresh in people's minds, and like, whoa, who is this girl? You know, wow, this is amazing. Or is it amazing? Or is it bad? You know, mm. and and they and they abused her. And or some people did. Some people loved you. Some people abused me. I've had it the same, but. I used to think I had the best boobs ever. Like, my boobs were my pride and joy. I used to be like, yeah, I've got pretty boobs and the natural, right? So, there was a comment, I had a local talk on Instagram, I remember like it was yesterday, and someone commented saying, Your boobs are saggy. And I was like, and I never, ever, ever thought that about myself. And I thought, oh. eh? Like, other? And I was like, nah. But then people started saying it more and more. People started saying it, and I was like, what? And then I started to see what they were saying. So, that's when I started changing myself, and I thought, at 19 years old, I just did it. Obviously, I regret getting it done, but um, that's when I first changed myself. But yeah, to have that pressure, I mean, Danielle, my, my ex, came on the show and said the same thing last week, you know. Mm -hmm. She started thinking about shaving her arm hair because people were picking up on it on Instagram and like, you know, all mad things like that. But like, know. why would you even notice someone's arm hair? Like, how they? So that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting point we can segue into now because recently, you know, Wayne's been basically giving them a taste of their own medicine. You know, all these people who are trolling people with big accounts, mm -hmm. if the big accounts suddenly turn on them and expose them, mm -hmm. then, you know, they all of a sudden, they, they don't want to be put in the spotlight because yeah. everyone, all, all of their fans... Yeah. Will, you know. But they need to be because they need to know how it feels. Exactly. They need to know how it feels to have but then, The thing is, though, sometimes people do go out of their way to do it. That, though, that's the yeah. only thing. So sometimes yeah. people and they want go the out of their way because they want the attention. Do you know what I mean? Beth, myself and Alicia, who, who works tightly with me with the social media, we now monitor people's Instagram. I mean, if they've got a picture of a dog and they've done no posts and the, the three posts they've done, it's for example, are, you know, it's a fake account. So we, we're, not, we're not interested in these people. Mm. That's their hobby. That's their life. You mm -hmm. know, good mm -hmm. luck, you know. Mm -hmm. But that's what we're trying to change, the, the easy um, process of signing up to social media. So then people aside, people with real accounts, we're, we're trying to just put on a platform and go, do, you know, do, you like, do you like this? Do you like this treatment that you're giving me? I'll, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to mm. give it to you in a nice way. And um, sorry, um, the, there was a guy called Prince, some, someone or other. He immediately, he, he abused me beyond belief. Mm. And he immediately messaged me once I called him out and he said, Wayne, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have done this. I don't agree with you calling me out, it's not right. You're trying to spoil my life. I'm like, wow, you know. Try to turn it around you've just you. have completely abused me. Narcissist. In, and, that, and I ignored it, he said, I have to go and see my family. What do you want to do about this? Do you want to delete what you've put? I didn't put anything verbally mm. bad against him. I just put what Showed he put. Showed what he said. Showed him what he said. He said, I have to go and see my I said, my family have had to see what you said about me, calling mm. me a a child molesting rapist, paedophile, <gasps> you know. And, um, and yeah, so, you know, people like that with real accounts, why are you doing this, you mm. know? So now he's had to pay the price for that and I think he's deleted his account now. And, mm -hmm. What mm. goes through people's brains, I don't understand it. Mm. But you know what? It's disgusting because how they still allow on social media, it's bullying. It's a form this of bullying, it. so how this does it still allow the board? Everybody has to be identifiable. Mm -hmm. The end. Mm -hmm. it's so how is it still going on? Boris because needs to like, act it's up not, like, it's yeah. Not, it's not Boris, it's Facebook, it's Twitter. They're earning money out of people being a trolling. Mm. But it's, that shouldn't thing. be allowed because it's ruining people's lives. People can't mm. take abuse. Mm. They're obviously we're all strong minded, but some people aren't. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's so unfair. Mm -hmm. So this is interesting because um, we spoke to someone the other day, and Steve was saying there's an app yeah. where basically they're gonna monitor. Mad Steve. Yeah. What a guy. Steve the Madman. Fantastic guy. Yeah, he's got this idea where you cannot make an account until you've given like some form passport. of passport. Yes, one hundred percent. When you make a Facebook account or a Twitter, you can just like you said it perfectly, yes, you can just make you can change yeah. Jimmy yeah. to Bob and change it from a cat to a dog and then yeah. exactly that. So how 
do you hand it then, Chloe? How like when you get trolled, like you know when you get trolled? I think like I know what's over say, but I've like literally I've learned to deal with it. Like I deal with the abuse now. I've just you don't you don't it. reply or anything. I just don't it. reply, but like I, like you said, on a bad day, I look and I'll see something, and it, it does upset us. I'm only human. You're not brought in this world to deal with good. deal with it. Like so, basically, I'll tell you a story what no one knows about me. So basically. Um, I had like a suction and I, with me, you know, I want to say I am, that's just, that's, that's who I am, I'm very, very honest, sometimes too honest. So basically I had like a suction and I was very honest about it, told everyone on social media, which I wish I never now because it causes so much stress. Mm-hmm. And then um, I posted a photo of me with bruises and I was like, like, cause I obviously tagged the company who did it. And then I had, honestly, you don't understand, 5,000, I was away with my ex partner at the time. 5,000 comments a day on every single photo, mm. just going absolutely in. Honestly, so awful the comments, right? And I said, at first, I'm not bored, I'm not bored, I'm not bored, right? But then, something changed. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't prepared for all that abuse. And then I was like, like my ex partner, I was like, I need to go away, I, I want to get away. He's like, well, let's go to Vegas. We shouldn't really went to Vegas. To find no. Not being in the right place, no, me no. now. I love gambling. Should have a like, little like, retreat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> in the Maldives or something. We're also doing very well in Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> so I went to Vegas and then, um, well, actually, I'll tell you, before that, I woke up in bed and I went, I, I don't know what's wrong with this. I said, I don't want to get out of bed. I'm so upset. I, I don't know my purpose anymore. Like, I was, and that's when I thought, I thought, I think I've got depression, yeah. I did not want to leave my bed. I rang my agent downstairs and said, I don't know what's wrong with it. I, I don't want to do anything. I just want to lie in bed and I started crying. And that, but, like, my ex partner at the time was like, I, I don't know what to do because I, 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 I've never seen this before. So I went to Vegas and I didn't want to leave the room. And I've got a picture on my phone, which I'll show you after. I took a picture of his, he went to crazy golf or something. <laughs> it's not even funny, but I was just like in bed and I took a picture and you can see in my eyes, I was just so, there was just nothing there. I was. I was empty, drained. so I was drained, just, I, was drained empty. Yeah. I was so unhappy with the way I looked Every, around this, I was just, honestly, I, I, I didn't want to be here. Mm. Did, did you get media abuse, like, as in the... Media, um, like, every, everything abuse, really, really, really bad abuse. And how, yeah, so, I know we all talk about social media abuse, which I've had for as long as you have, and, uh, but the, the thing that alerted me to start this campaign was what Ali Ross wrote about me. Wayne Lineker should change his name to Wayne Kerr. Yeah, I've seen that, you know, yeah. So, I mean, have you had experiences like that? You know, where, I do, obviously, where, I get a lot. That, sorry, that, that's just where I took a step back and go, hold on a minute, yeah. this is not right. Yeah. You know? So what, that was the media, wasn't it? Yeah. The media so started doing that. Have you heard media yeah. stories? Yeah. Oh, I do. Yeah. Not and, as bad as Colin, but it's, I, I did have lots. I think the media stories upset you more because it's, They've researched, mm. they've done their homework, they've, they've spoke to certain people and that... They've got an agenda. They've got, they've an got agenda. a platform, really, yeah. because they're... Because yeah. they're there and they A comment, of, uh, an abuse comment on, on social media is, a, is a, an instant thought, you know. Mm-hmm. And, but a, an article in a newspaper is it's a process of a week's work for these people. Mm-hmm. You know, for them to do that to me, yeah, and, you know. and they don't actually think about it, do they? Nah, no. it, nah. the thing is, as well, that's allowed. That the thing is, the the people who produce these papers and these articles and all these, they're allowing to physically write a story bullying someone. It's clear. They're allowed that it's it clear. is bullying, and that printing yeah. that they're yeah. reading it, they're going, yeah, that's good, that that's good, that. But when I, I made a comment on your page and like constant abuse, you know. Yeah, just paedophile, mm. nonsense. But you know, paedophile is such, that's why I was, that's why I got upset here, because it's such awful. a big word, such a big word, it shouldn't mm. just be thrown around, paedophile is a mm. massive, massive yeah, word. Awful. That's why I rang you and I was, and I was upset, mm. because obviously yeah, I've got she a big family, out, Me, I've got nieces and nephews, and for someone just to call you a paedophile, because mm. I know you so well, you want to be yeah. really good friends, it, it hurts, because mm. I know how nice you are, and I just can't believe that people were saying mm. that about you. Yeah. And for your family to be reading that, yeah. Like, it's, it's, nice. it's disgusting. No. I think the thing is as well, is like media, like the media, even the TV, like that is literally a tiny percentage of someone's life. You are never, never, ever yeah. going to be able to realise yeah. what that person is feeling inside or what's actually going on. Yeah. Like, it's, you're never going to be able to realise it. So I just feel like the world needs to be a little bit more human and a little bit more kind to people because you don't know what people are going nah. through ever. That's what I was saying. Especially the whole nah. no. Like, you would never, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't actually know how anyone is actually feeling on social media. You never yeah, know. Yeah, I think, I think people like, 
see us having a laugh and a good time and, and they're thinking, why, why, why should they have a good time and us not have a good time? It's not, it's not about that. We're having a good time. Why can't we? You know, if you want a good time, go and have a good time. Do you know what it's like? There's some block somewhere that people like, I get affected that other people are having a good time and mm -hmm. they're not. Um, and that's to do with what's so going on in that's their, their life. Mindset. Yeah, that's, that's their yeah. mindset. That's like that's their yeah, sadness. That's their mindset. Mm. Um, it's like a projection of so how they're feeling, not actually what you're doing. We'll never change the world's mindset. No, nah, never. You, the figures never. What we need to do is change this abuse. Yes. Because it's not nice. And nobody deserves it. You know. I nobody. think you know. But didn't Bobby Norris try and do this? Yeah, I'm speaking. I've got an interview with Bobby. He tried to do because he got time. really bad abuse for being gay. I got, yeah, yeah. Really so, bad. So, so, so Bobby, bad. Bobby's the most amazing so person. So Bobby, Bobby's trying to do the same thing as us, make people identify. I think I've done this because there so, was a government signature that you had to for him. Yeah. So yeah. I, Bobby's I, I already, remember Bobby, saying Bobby's that. already been down this route. And, yeah. And we're, we're, take, we're following the same route as him. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're almost so like, going the same yeah, way. It's like, it's like we said, didn't we? We're, we're not trying to change the world. We just all need to get, get, get together. To get we together. all just need yeah. to just all of so, a big, massive tribe. So to join in what Bobby's doing, to join in what Katie Price is doing, to join in what we're doing, you know, all of us together need to go and change Facebook's, Instagram, Twitter's process of registration. Yeah. That's it. See? That's well, how easy it is. And stop happens, trolling in the media. Do you think if social media accounts like sort that out, that will stop it completely? It's the end. It's the end of it. It's so obvious, you know, Nobody is identifiable. You can't get you can't get arrested for it. You can't get a, a, mm. anything for it. And there should be like some sort. There should be a consequence to it. Are. Yeah. So like, like, if it's, there was it's, a consequence, it's, it's, it's so obvious. It's know. like being allowed to wear a mask and go mm. out and hit people in the street, and you won't get arrested yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Isn't it? Yeah, because you've got a mask on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No bullshit. So guys, that is a wrap. I really hope that you enjoyed the podcast with all of us. Wayne is a freak. He's shown his shoe, but honestly. I've had the most amazing day and honestly, I want to stop online bullying. It shouldn't be allowed. It's absolutely disgusting. But thank you for tuning in. Leave a comment below what you want to see me do next. Love yous. Love yous too. <laughs>